I'm gonna show you how to make slow-mo shots using your iPhone, shooting 128 frames per second, at, sorry, 120 frames per second at 1080p. We're gonna learn how to bring that in a Final Cut Pro, slow it down, make it look like cinematic B-roll, and we're also going to do sort of speed ramping, which means it'll speed up and slow down as it goes. It should look kind of cool. We're gonna use Star Wars figures to do it. You could use anything in your house. It does not have to be anything I've got Star Wars figures, you could use dolls, you could use um, trinkets, uh, anything, anything you can find. Um, we're going to just pan past them, circle round, circle round, that's a circle round, that's better. Um, and then slow that down with slow-mo to make it look like cinematic B-roll with your phone. All right, I'm going to show you how to shoot uh, the best slow-mo video on your phone. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is go into your settings on your iPhone, scroll down, go to camera, and under s record slow-mo, you're going to click there and choose 1080p 120 frames per second. All right, so now that I have my phone set up, ready to shoot in 1080p uh, at 120 frames per second, I'm going to create some cool B-roll. Uh, I'm going to grab... Um, some cool Star Wars guys here. Now you might not have cool Star Wars guys, and that's okay. I've got Princess Leia. I've got a Stormtrooper. I've got Anakin Skywalker, Boba Fett, and Luke Skywalker, and even Jabba the Hutt. And we're going to recreate um, some awesome Star Wars scenes. So I'm going to just set them up on the floor, create some really dramatic and exciting scenes here. Uh, you don't have to do this with um, action figures or dolls, but you could. So we've got some exciting action figures here set up on the floor. It looks like a really dramatic scene. It's a standoff. We've got a Stormtrooper. We've got Leia. We've got Jabba the Hutt. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here with my phone at 120 frames per second and do some dramatic slow-mo to really sell the importance and dramatic nature of this scene. So here I am on my phone. Uh, oh, I'm throwing it because I'm a spaz, but uh, I'm gonna swipe till I get to slow-mo and then I'm just gonna do some exciting shots. Just basically starting. A distance, a certain distance away and just and then just moving towards the scene and then stopping, choosing another angle and moving towards the scene, choosing another angle and doing a panning shot by the scene. And then yeah, arrange all those angles and Final Cut Pro in a second. I'll show you how I'll do that. Onto the computer, we're gonna do a speed ramp. So I got a shot of Jabba the Hutt and Princess Leia. It's sort of a pan past. And um, I can just slow this whole thing down, make it look cinematic by clicking the clip, saying modify, retime, slow, and slowing it down to 25%. So now it looks like this. Looks like a slow, deliberate panning shot. What we're going to do is choose a part in the middle where we're going to zip past even faster. So it's going to go from slow to fast back to slow. So I go ahead and I click my arrow here. I use my range selection tool. I can just hit R on my keyboard if I'd prefer. And I'm just gonna choose a chunk of the video here. Um, the range selection tool lets you choose part of the video. And I'll just choose a chunk here. And then I'm gonna go up to modify, retime, and I'm gonna make this chunk twice as fast as the original video. So it's gonna start slow, it's gonna um, speed up, and then go slow again. Here we go. Now that would look way cooler if it was your buddy going by on a bicycle, but seeing as coronavirus, uh, we're inside playing with Star Wars figures. So next, I'm gonna grab another clip here. Let's see, one of the panning clips maybe that I shot. There we go. We'll grab this panning shot here and we'll drop it in. Again, it's shot in slow-mo. And we'll click it. We'll start by slowing it down. Modify, read time, slow, 25%. 
and it looks like this. So for this one, instead of slowing it down in the middle, we're going to start fast. So again, we grab our range selection tool, choose the part of the start, start it off fast until we start to see everyone, and say uh, modify retime speed or fast and choose two times. Grab our other end of the clip after we pan just as we stop seeing everyone. Do the same thing. Modify, retime, speed, fast, two times. And now this one looks like this. And we can adjust things here too. So I can grab this and this and change how quickly it transitions from one speed to the other. And now it looks like this. You can see, you can more clearly see the acceleration of the video. So play around with that. And your job is to upload two different speed ramping clips that you've shot with your phone to this discussion post. Um, so upload two, and that would be cool. Thank you very much.